Hello, and welcome to my quick start tutorial for Artiscan, a web-based tool I've created for importing your artifacts from Genshin Impact. For a long time, PC players have had the ability to use websites such as Genshin Optimizer to analyse the pool of artifacts available to them and optimise their characters accordingly. Unfortunately, the only option available for PlayStation and mobile players has been rather more tedious, and there's been no way to feasibly catalogue up to 1,500 artifacts until now. In fact, PC players may make use of this as well, all from the safety of their browser. Step 1. Recording a video of your artifacts. For this step, I'm going to explain the process by using a PlayStation 5. You'll preferably need to have a USB stick to hand as well. Other devices vary widely, so whilst I will not be covering those, the concept remains the same. Firstly, ensure that your game is set to English text. Open your inventory and navigate to the artifacts, selecting the first one. Using the PS5's share button, start a screen recording. Hold down the left controller stick to the right and keep it held down until it reaches the last artifact. Stop the screen recording with the share button. Copy the video to a USB stick. Step 2. Loading the video into Artiscan. Using your web browser, navigate to artiscan.ninjabay.org. For those wondering, the domain is a parody on the rather old Pirates vs Ninjas concept. Select Artifacts from the top menu, and then the Source button. You will have three choices, but the most efficient, and the one I'm going to explain, is to use the video file we just recorded. From here, you'll be prompted to perform a one-time setup. Using the video timeline, make sure that an equipped artifact is shown on the screen, then click the Scan as Artifact in Inventory button. After a few seconds, it should be ready to scan your artifacts. Step 3. Scanning your artifacts. Using the video timeline, go back to the first artifact if applicable. Enter your traveller's name into the box. Click on Start Scan and wait for it to complete though you can pause it at any time. The number of unique artifacts scanned is shown during the process. The better your CPU, the faster the scan will be, but it should manage between 1 and 3 artifacts per second. If an error occurs during the scan, you'll be alerted to make corrections. If the video quality is high enough, however, you shouldn't encounter any issues. Step 4. Importing into Genshin Optimizer. From the final results screen, you can see all of the artifacts that were scanned. Click on Copy to Clipboard, or download them as a JSON file if you like. Within Genshin Optimizer, go to the Settings tab, and from here you will see all of the databases that you have. Click on Upload, and paste in your artifact data. This will not replace any characters or weapons you have already set up. And all done. You can now optimise your characters. I hope this video guide and the tool itself has been helpful. Feel free to reach out with any comments or questions, if you fancy something a bit more light-hearted, check out my Science in Genshin video series. See you next time!